Hi guys and welcome to part 3 on the ST90 Right, better start thinking about getting this engine together I'm waiting for parts but I have looked at the head and the valves are leaking so I thought I'd start with that first Right, to get them out we need to undo the, them three so we can actually slide the pins out from here but, so we can get it apart so I can get the valves out and regrind them so that's what I'm going to do start here and work back to getting the engine put together and then find out if it's good or bad I should imagine it's going to be good because it's being reboard. Right, let's get these three out to start with. Okay, I've drawn them out from the head. Now these can be a bit of a pain up the arse because there's nothing to grip to. So what I've done, I've just put, wedged a few screws in there just so you can get a grip and then you can draw it out from there. Otherwise you can be there for a ages just trying to get out of them and pull them that's the best way I've found of doing them and they'll come out not that you cause damage you just be careful when you do it it's just so you can grip so I've pushed on and took the valve out now now if you look at that valve you can see why it isn't seating It's got loads of crud on it. So that isn't going to seal, which I knew by when I tested it. And if you look at the seat in there, it's full of gunk and crap. So it looks like we'll have to get on with that and get that done. We'll do that one first and then come back and do the other side. Right then, let me crack on for a little while pushed on a little bit and done the valve if that'll focus that's nice done the best we can in there got a nice dull grey same as that this thing here has been around most of my life I think my dad bought it when I was a babbly and we've always had it and it's still going still works after about 60 years anyway I'll get this one put back together and then I'll whip the other one out right guys I've pushed on a bit further took the other valve out and that's what we've got as you can see that one is full of crud as well so and that one so we'll just go through same process as before We'll cut the valve back in hopefully that way the head will seal properly and we'll get full power out of it instead of it losing gases hard to start and all the rest right i'll push on show you when i've done this one right guys sunday morning bored so i thought i'd strip this apart i've managed to undo these free them off with a bit of GT85 and the old Ugga Dugga but these ones here can't get undone so what I'm going to do is get a bit of heat on it so I'm going to get them hot and see if I can get them free then so we'll blast them with the heat and hopefully they'll come free I'll let you know once I've done it. Well, that's the first one. Bit of heat, bit of GT85. As you can see, it's hot. And that's freed it off a tree. Don't be an idiot like me. And stick your hand in front of the flame. It sort of uh, singes everything. Right, I'm going to crack on and get this one here now. Freed off. One round there. 
I have started to get parts together for this bike. I've got the chain, got a new spark plug, I've got the reflectors, uh, genuine ones like for the forks there. Managed to find some of them in the UK. Obviously off a bike that was broken. So they're on the way. Gasket sets on the way. So we're moving forward. Got to find some tyres and get some tyres ordered for it. So everything's going pretty well at the minute. So anyway, rambling on. Let's get that one undone. That one there. Well, that one didn't want to play nicely. The head rounded out in it. So I resorted to mole grips to get on it. But I eventually got it out. It probably took me 10 minutes. But it was cherry red, but it still just wouldn't go. But we got there in the end. Anyway, a bit of trivia. What is it, Sunday today? Bank holiday Monday tomorrow and we're off to an auto jumble see if we can find any bits for any of the bikes if it's interesting I may do a little bit of video in on it if not you won't see it well guys I've done the auto jumble this is what I bought if anyone's interested splashed out fiver me and packed me a dug a gun so I bought them so I have a tendency to break them this is what I was after I might just pick this up I need this back bit I've got a plan for it genuine Honda Stanley but that's the bit I'm interested in I'll show you why when I get round to that bit Eight pound bargain. Come with the uh, original indicators and stuff, but the backlight bracket is not what I need. Anyway, that's another thing I got, which hopefully will help me out. And I also bought this. Don't ask me where I'm going to put it, because I have no idea. But. <laughs> Parts washer, bargain, 40 quid, couldn't resist. So that's what I bought at the Auto Jumble. Yeah, I didn't realise how much the fluid's going to cost to actually fill it. But yeah, happy, happy with that. Right guys, I've managed to get the bike on the ramp. I've drained the oil out of it, what bit there was in it. I'm going to make an attempt of getting it back together. Find out what bits are missing. Because I'm not sure there is bits missing. But if I can get it back together so far, I'll be happy. So we'll start off by pulling that gasket off from the other row. Big O-ring thing. I start attempting to rebuild this engine. Wish me luck because I think I'm going to need it. Okay, guys, pushed on a bit. I've put the piston in, the barrel on. Uh, yeah, it's all going pretty well at the minute. I have found that there is a dowel missing from there. But I've been out, searched the garage outside and found another dowel so we can carry on with this now yeah it's been a bit of a bugger but so far so good pushing on so guys I've pushed on a bit further I've got the head on the cam in set up uh, as much as I can I've found we are in a uh, the little bowl, little nut for the tappets. That's missing. I'm going to have to get one of them. Which I'm going to have to search the garage to see if I can find one. The other problem I've got now is this. 
this should have a oil seal in there that's missing so we can't put that on plus the fixings for here here and here are missing so we're sort of a bit stuck or I've got another engine a CT90 that I could probably pinch the bits out but it's a complete engine uh, just nick some of the parts out of it so I can get the parts for this and then put them back in the other engine but that's debatable I'm going to have to think about it but really I want to see if this one's going to start and run so it might be a resort to that Anyway, I'll let you know. Right then, made a decision. Looks like I'm gonna pinch it all out of that. That's a complete engine that I've redone. But I'm desperate for them bits to see if that other one is gonna work. Right, let me get this stripped out. Well, there you go. I've had to pinch it and that. So we can carry on with that. Right then, let's carry on. Okay then, right. We've fitted that, timed it all up on that. And guess what? No spark. Ended up taking the coil out. Uh, flashing the coil with six volts and that was working put it all back in and still no spark I reached the point where I just thought that's it I've had enough I'm going to lock the door and come back tomorrow because I just couldn't get it to spark no matter what I'd done and then I thought, that switch there, you see ya. Because I've got a battery connected up, I thought, oh, I'll just check the lights. I thought, from that bunch of wire, it must be the lights. Guess what? That's a kill switch. So it didn't matter if you switch that on. That still kills spark. Put that on, tried it again. We got spark. So for probably an hour and a half or more, I'd been messing, scratching my head. Turns out it was that. Now I have spark. Another thing, when you buy a bike like this, and I say, oh, all the parts are there. No, never believe them. There's always loads of little bits they've missed, like the screws, bolts, and all the rest. Anyway, I've started to build the top end. I've changed the O-rings in that, in them. Just on this now. I thought, oh, I'll have a look at them carbs. Is the carburetor that came with the bike and the new carburetor there and then I looked inside and if you can see there's no slide no needle so I thought well that's it then I'm gonna have to use the brand new one <coughs> excuse me then remembered from when I built one before we got this carb that kept leaking from the bottom bowl. So my plan is, we'll give it a go. We'll take the stuff out of this one here and put it in this carb, which may be the original, I don't know. Maybe that was an original carb for it. So we'll knit the bits out of there and put them into there and see what happens. Other things 
yeah two new nuts there to hold the coil in place a lot of the time I've just been messing just trying to get bits together it's been quite a nightmare but next job we'll have a go at that and see what happens I'll bring you back once I've messed with this well I've managed to fit the slide in the carburetor but then took the carburetor apart to find this as you can see in there let me just uh, make a little space this is what's inside that carburetor that comes with the bike all this which means we're going to have to strip this carb give it a clean and see if we can get it working but every time I need something I have to keep going to the garage and picking bits up which is a bit of a pain up the arse until I get this place set up with tools that I need to work in here so anyway let's get this apart and see if we can get this working well I've cleaned all that that's all right jets are clear and stuff now but this found this on the side and I reckon that's all blocked up so we're gonna have to have that out clean all that right back with you if I find any more bits right then that's the carb rebuilt uh, I've got it on now so next thing see if she'll run but Bill's just turned up at the front door so I'm gonna go and get him Why? Why are you impressed? Well, I've seen it all apart, and it's just started up first kick. Well, you can't fault that, mate. Well done. It, Brilliant. But we got oil running from somewhere. Yeah, that's oil there. Look, piddling it's piddling oil. Yeah, I know. But where's it coming from? It's coming out there, just there. Yeah. All right. Might be leaking from there then. Might want the head tightening up a bit more or Well that was brilliant mate. Well let's uh rethink what's going on. Because we wasn't expecting that to fire straight up. No, I wasn't. Quite well. impressed. Right then. Well, as you've seen, it runs. It was running well. But it's absolutely spewing oil out of there so that means all that needs to come apart again and one of you who's clever might spot what I haven't done as well so it needs to come apart again anyway but yeah look there that bolt ain't in which is still in there so, a whole lot's got to come apart, so I can get that back in anyway. But we're moving forward and backwards at the same time. But we will get there. So, let me get on with this, and I'll bring you back when I've took it all apart again. Well, guys, I found the problem. 
I obviously, in there, is supposed to be a gasket in here. And that bolt should have went in there. I obviously got distracted and never put them in. This is what obviously happens when you're in and out, rushing about, trying to find problems and sort them. But up on the bench, we have that there and that there. I don't know which one's which, but obviously didn't put one of these in. So, we're back to that. Let's try and get it sorted. Right then, we've got it in this time and the gasket that goes in between there. That's probably where all the oil was coming from. But these things happen when you're doing things. When you're looking round, your mind's going over all different sort of things. Oh yeah, reflectors are on now. Yeah, it's just one of them things. We live, we learn. So now it's getting the timing all set back up. I'm getting back to where I was before I cocked up. But definitely did cock up. And it'll happen to you as well. And you just get on with it. Right, let me crack on again. Okay, we're all back together again. And if you look on the previous bit of this video, that was in there. So I can't understand how that's come out. Okay, we hadn't got the gasket in there. But that was definitely in there. So I've had it running and no oil. So what do I do next? I thought loads of things and now it's come to it. I can't think of anything. But yeah, she's running and she's running on that carb that come with it with no slide. What else have we done? Uh round the other side I've put the exhaust on. I'll show you easier. Oh, oh stag around. Right, exhaust is on. So I'm happy with that. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this video now and see how we get on next week. So I'm down, I'm gone.